Today, also the second day of the Joe Martin stage race. Earlier this afternoon, the cyclists took off on a loop that takes them from Fayetteville down to Rudy and back. Five News reporter Ellen Thals is live at the finish line on Dixon Street with more on this. Ellen. Darren, the women crossed the line here around five. The amateur men did in just the last few minutes, and now we're waiting on the professional men. When they cross that line, they will have biked 110 miles. Now, this race is also a big deal to local bike shops. We spoke with one of them to see how it affects business. If you could look at it, that'd be cool. Business is booming at Fat Tire in Fayetteville. Oh, that's nice. Spike Manlick is a mechanic at the shop and says they anticipate the madness every year. There's nothing you can really do to prepare. Um, I guess the biggest situation is that in the bicycle world, it's way more complex than it appears. You know, you can just get on it and ride it if it's a hybrid. But um, a lot of the road bikes and high performance mountain bikes take a lot of care. They take a school mechanic. He says on a typical weekend, his crew will work on about 50 bikes. This weekend, they're working on 75. Someone off the street can't just come in and do the job and tell you about a bike. And also, some of these bikes, people are going to be going 65 miles an hour on. And, and the, the level of safety for that, it, you just have to have a professional working on it. Manlike says some of the professional bikes can cost up to $15,000. In the bike world, lightweight means everything, and um, you have to pay to get a lighter bike. Today, he's working on his own race shoes. He and several other fat tire employees will take part in the amateur event. It's just about the end. And it's that you're giving it all when you get off the bike, you've done it. You know, it's total exhaustion, but at the same time, you know, you've, you've been to your limit and it's a sport where you can go to your limit frequently. Now the professional men are set to cross the line here in the next 20 to 30 minutes. Manlike says the stage race actually leaves less people out of his shop because professional teams are stealing his mechanics. Live in Fayetteville, Ellen Thals, 5 News. All right, Ellen, thanks. The Joe Martin stage race will be in town until Sunday. That's when the cyclist will do several loops through downtown Fayetteville.